Welcome to part B of our course on the fundamentals of nanoelectronics. Here we are interested in understanding the nature of current flow in small devices, where we have these two contacts, the source and the drain, and electrons flow from one to the other through the channel, which provides an sort of electronic highway. And what we did in part A of our course is we use the semi-classical picture, where you think of electrons as particles described by Newton's laws. But then, if you want to describe current flow, you also have to include what are called entropy-driven processes, that is where, what are called thermodynamic processes. And the general framework for doing that is this Boltzmann equation. And these are all fairly advanced concepts, but based on our insights from nanoelectronics, what we have developed over the years is a framework, is an approach by which we can teach these advanced concepts in a relatively elementary manner without invoking a lot of specialized background. And we'll continue this in part B with quantum transport. Of course, as you might expect, for quantum transport, Newton's laws gets replaced by the Schrodinger equation. But you still have to add the entropy-driven processes, and when you add that, you get the non-equilibrium green function method, this NEGF. And what we'll do in the first unit of this course is talk about the Schrodinger equation, this E psi equals H psi, and talk about this matrix H, which sort of describes this electronic highway, tells you the energy levels that are available for the electrons to flow. But then we'll move on in unit two to talking about the flow of electrons into and out of the contacts, the interaction with the surroundings, and all that will, will develop this NEGF equations, the general equations in unit two, and then we'll look at different examples. We'll look at one-dimensional examples, two-dimensional examples, graphene, magnetic fields, and so on. And eventually we'll talk about spin transport, which is a problem of great current interest. And as I said, our approach allows us to teach all this, which is fairly advanced non-equilibrium statistical mechanics, but we can teach all this assuming only a minimal prerequisite, namely differential equations and matrix algebra. If you have taken part A, that's great. If not, I'll try to summarize the basic concepts you need, and the old course will always be available to you for review. Thank you, and hope to see you in the course.